Here today from the BSA and the wind was blowing from the north in my face, the true genius of our schedule really kind of became apparent to us. We're going to California, we might not come back. Any questions? Well, thanks all, appreciate everything. Yes, okay. <laughs> Mary's team rank in terms of the high majors you've played uh, in the past? <clears throat> oh, they're very good. You know, it, it, they've played one game already, and if you want to stay up with me till 2 in the morning tonight, they play again. Uh, Louisiana Tech is a very good mid-major team, and they, uh, they separated from them, ended up beating them by 15. You know, they've got some, they've got some question marks uh, replacing a an unbelievable point guard who's in the NBA now. Uh, but the guy that's filling in for him played very, very well the other night and is not a guy that hasn't played. He played the two. He's sliding over to the one and is very, very, very competent. He's no, he's better than competent. He's good um, in Holt. Uh, down low, Waldo is a man. It will be worth the pay-per-view admission to watch Marshall and him wrestle around down there. Uh, Two big, strong-minded kids going at it. This is fun. This is, you, you know, it's funny. They, your your perception in the Midwest of, of what a West Coast team is is, you know, maybe a little more finesse based, a little more. St. Mary's is physical now. I mean, they'll get after you. Um, I think they're built a lot like us. Um, they've obviously had success on a grander scale over a longer period of time than we have, and it's a program that, if you look at it. Uh, shares a model similar to ours in terms of you bring in kids, uh, you develop them, and by the time they, they get done, you look back and go, wow, that was a, that was a pretty good player. Um, we'll see. I, to rank them, certainly they don't have two top five NBA picks like Indiana did in our road, road opener. Uh, but boy, they're, they're better than the Oregon team we played back in the day uh, in, in Dana Altman's first year out there. Uh, Probably better than that Florida team we even played my my first road game as a head coach. Why did I schedule that one? <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, it's uh, they're right on top of you. It, it's uh, it's a great mid. If you were to list great mid-major basketball venues, th this is one of them. I mean, anybody that's watched a game from there, you know, I'm watching the game the other night on tape, and the fans are very much a part of the game, even from a from the catwalk up top with the little camera they have, you can tell it's a loud, uh, crowded, packed, right on top of you venue. And they don't lose there very often. So uh, I'm sure they, uh, I'm sure they'll be ready for us when we walk in there. They, they get ready for everybody. They're, uh, it's a, it's really a, a special program, a neat place. And Coach Bennett built that thing. When he took it over, there wasn't much there. And it's a guy that's built it from the ground and just stayed there. And uh, that's a pretty good story, too. So that environment, will that be a little bit different adjusting to that, say, compared to a big place like Notre Dame or State? Yeah, you know, it, it's funny. Our guys have played <laughs> Our guys have played in gyms with one side bleachers, uh, curtain down, and badminton going on on the other side of the, the <laughs> net before. They've played in Assembly Hall. They've played at the Metrodome. Uh, each presents its own challenges. The, the gym itself is a lot like uh, San Francisco's gym, which a lot of our guys played in. Uh, but yeah, it's, you know, when they're right on top of you yelling at you, and you can hear what they're saying, it's a little different in football. You got 20,000 people yelling at you, but nobody's yelling directly at you for the most part. Uh, I'll get some disparaging remarks about my hairline, I can promise you that. How about the late night start? Is that a thing you have to prepare for that you're going to play? Even on the West Coast, it might be close to 9 o'clock. College kids don't sleep until 2 in the morning anyway, no big deal. Uh, yeah, it's different. You know, the hardest part of that is not so much the game time itself, but it's killing time all day because their body clocks are going to get them up at, even if they sleep until 10 local time, it's 8 o'clock out there, okay? Or if they sleep until 10 o'clock our time, it's 8 o'clock out there. That's a lot of time in your day to sit around and think about a game. Uh, nobody likes that, the coaches, the players. Uh, and find a way to kill some time, but you know you certainly you can watch so much film, you can do so many meetings, but at some point or another, they just want to play the game, uh, and especially one like this that they might be even a little more excited about because of who we're playing. Now, Coach, you also have Southern Mississippi coming at the end of the week. What's it like 
had with them on top of St. Mary's and just this big non conference. Yeah. yeah, it's coming in a hurry. I, uh, you know, I, I got to start on St. Mary's a little bit early. Uh, and I started on Southern Miss a little bit early, even going back into the last summer, getting ready prep-wise. But now that it's here and right on top of us, that's a lot of prep. They're very different teams. So St. Mary's is exclusively man-to-man. -man. Southern Miss is exclusively zone. Uh, St. Mary's plays in the half court defensively. Southern Miss is out all over the court. Two very different teams to get ready for. Uh, and oh yeah, flight out to California and back in the meantime. So it's busy week, busy week in the old uh, Bison Sports Arena for us, but it's what we signed up for, and and we'll see how it goes. I've, I've been stressing with our guys. You know, you can go a couple different ways with this thing. Say we rattle off a couple wins and and do some really positive things. You can fall in love with yourself in a hurry, thinking you're pretty good. And if you lose two, you know, you could walk away thinking maybe we're not as good as we thought. The truth is probably going to be somewhere in between. Either way, uh, we got to worry about us getting ready for Summit League play. Certainly, we have. Uh, put ourselves in position to do that with the schedule we have. <laughs> it has its unique features. Uh, anybody coming out to a game in the BSA, uh, right now it looks like a warm season in the BSA. We've had cold seasons. This looks like it's going to be a very hot season, which will only increase my dry cleaning bills. Actually, I could feel it in my office a little bit, but it's still off. I have geothermic activity underneath my desk. I, I don't know what's going on down there, but it's, I'll be sitting there typing away, and the next thing you know, I'm blotting my head off. With, uh, we're, I'm going to write a book in the BSA someday. There's no question about that. Thank you.